we get it right to the absolute second. Well, here we go. Beko Hekin's Champions League destiny is in their own hands. Real Madrid have only pride left to play for. And who would have predicted this outcome? Off we go on the most important Champions League night in the recent history of Beko Hekin. Now a chance for Real Madrid to play. Olga brought down by Ambegor. And an early yellow card goes the way of the Hacken player. And she was away there, Olga Carmona, a bit of a cynical challenge. And the second time, though, and it's Foster Elsa Sorensen looking to go through the middle. And she's found Anna Anvergord. And she's pushed it wide of the target. And Anvergord has, has hurt herself in the process. Another chance for Baker Hacken just to put this beyond any doubt. Victory qualifies them no matter what. And well, again, no question of offside. Amagor with a lovely touch, too. Just needed to beat the goalkeeper. It was an awkward finish in the end. Ooh, she just kicked the turf on her way. Olga. Fouts going to come for it. Atenea careers into it. Goalkeeper was clearly there first. And Atenea Del Castillo might argue she's got every right to go for that ball, but it was a clumsy challenge. And I think 5 0 the game before that against Arling Source, but it was just completely different in the Champions League. Had to scrap, had to fight. Speaking of scrapping, Sandy Teletti is going to go into the book. No change. From Stad Charlotte T, by the way. Chelsea still winning 1 0. That means Baker Hecken through whatever happens in this game. Barry FC needs to win. And the goal. Picked up by Merlin. One of some with an eye for a pass. And she's found Saletti, who in turn is looking for Rasso. Can she get in behind Veek? It's Hayley Rasso! Wrong side of the post. Well, Hayley Rasso doesn't yet have a Champions League goal to her name. And many inside Estadio Alfredo Di Stefano might have thought that moment had come. Brilliant ball by Toletti. Veek caught out of position. Rasso with too much pace. Just couldn't find the finish. And away goes Ateneo del Castillo. Willie Brink's got a bit of ground to cover here. Looking for Merla. And dragged wide by Carolina Merla. Opportunity for Real Madrid. Good close control to find Saletti. Now here goes Elia. Sani Saletti. Good block behind from V. And it will be a corner to Real Madrid. And I think it would still take at least one goal from Paris. They're having to become nervous. But they want to finish the campaign with a win. That almost goes without saying the group stage and give themselves some momentum into the quarter final. Toletti. Straight into the hands of the goalkeeper from the head of Olofsson. Nerissi's on her own for the moment. Yusu Bar is trying to catch up with her though. Olga trying to hold the Rissian centre, flying down to ground, and this could be trouble. Olga Carmona is on a yellow card, and I don't think a second one is going to come out the pocket of Reem Hussain. Fargi underneath the challenge of Ketlin, and that will be a free kick again. Once more, it will be Fostel Sorensen. And the short route. Forward to Yusu Bar. She did that over. Lovely. And Kafaji on their day with destiny. It's Baker Hecken's Rough Diamond who scored. And quarterfinal dreams will be coming true in Madrid. Nobody can stop them now. And the Swedish flag will fly in the knockout stages. 
And it's looking like a sorry end to the campaign for Real Madrid. They'll be bearing out winless as it stands, and they were undone here by a lovely ball from Monica Yusuba. Kafaji underneath. And Avik and Rubinson further upfield. It's Robles with the cross, and that's what they wanted. Put themselves in the corner. Never really happened for Clarissi Larissi tonight, did it? Yeah. Canadian replaced him. Well, had chances, but was more in the wars. So now it's just ball in. Wide. Forward by Kafaji. Fancied us up for a second. Forward by Rubinson. And it found its way all the way through to, to Skroda, but Linda will have to do. Headed away by Casona. On the come on his cross, Brut! Couldn't get enough purchase, and away by Sandberg. A good ball from Olga Carmona. Up not needed on this occasion. Difficult one for Cena Brooklyn to take. Just a couple of inches too high for her to have a real meaningful effort on goal. It's another good ball in. And Falk had to do more this time to deny Ivana Andres. Here's the goal scorer, Kafaji. Ivana making sure. Malaya. Fouled by Rosa Kafaji. Saw no sir. Been lively since she came on. But put her shot straight at Yennefer Falk. There was power behind it, but not enough deviation. Here comes Sambet. Yusuba. Trying to go through the middle to find Rubinson, but Sveva got something in the way of it. It's a fall for Kaiser to chase that. Even for a lost cause like Real Madrid's Champions League campaign, which is coming to a losing end as it stands. Plenty of fights show my Atenea this evening. So no set. Olga. Olaya. Couldn't move it quickly enough to get away from Sambe. Well read by Sornosa. Just over a minute for Real Madrid to find an equalizer. Sornosa. Toletti. Will somebody strike? Away by Rebrink. Yusuvar under it. Antti Robles got there first, but Rubinson away. All the pressure coming from Real Madrid, still they want this goal. Olga, saved by Falk. Sonosa again, she's put some good balls in so far. This has to be good as well. Half cleared, and way over the bar from Atenea. And there is the full-time whistle. And Hecken, our Champions League quarter-finalists, for the first time in 11 years.